The video review will start in a few seconds, but as a reminder, remember if you have a question, comment, or suggestion about this video review, the link is provided on the page below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at the Antec HCP or High Current Pro 1000, 1000 watt power supply. First I'll do a quick unbox and look at this box. It looks incredible. Probably one of the best looking power supply boxes there is on the market. Lots of information about the product on it, features and specifications, as well as pictures. Now they have this wrapped in plastic so you know that nobody else has been into it. Let me remove that and pop it open and see what is inside. It comes packaged in this quality styrofoam. All of the modular leads are in this bag. They include a quick overview. If you want to download the complete manual, go to antech.com slash manuals. They also include four black screws and a couple of Velcro tie downs. And the power supply itself is in another bag. Let me take it out and we can have a look at it. And it looks like their logo here has plastic on the top and I will peel this off. They even have this protective plastic on the label. They also include a heavy power cord. The HCP or High Current Pro series of power supplies are currently available in a number of different wattages, 750, 850, and 1200. But those models are actually gold certified. And this one, the 1000 watt model, is platinum certified. Now what separates this power supply from most is its continuous power. It offers 1000 watts of power 100% of the time and not many other power supplies can boast this. Now how is this wattage determined? Well to understand this you need to know what rails are. And rails are basically well regulated transformers which convert domestic current into the voltages that your computer system can use and there are essentially two different rails the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail and the 12 volt rail. In this particular case the approximate maximum peak output of the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is 130 watts and the 12 volt is 1000 watts which is essentially how the wattage of this power supply is determined. Now the 3.3 slash 5 volt rail is responsible for the motherboard, memory, PCI cards and so on, while the 12 volt rail is responsible for the hard drives, optical drives, fans, CPU, video cards, etc. It's also important to know the peak amps on each rail. The plus 3.3 volt and the plus 12 volt rails are 25 amps each and there are four plus 12 volt rails and they are 40 amps each. There are a number of important things to remember when selecting a power supply. The first is wattage. Determine how much wattage you are going to require by the amount of hardware that you will be installing. Generally speaking, a medium to high end gaming rig require a 500 to 700 watt power supply for a hardcore system. Select a power supply that's around 800 watts. If, however, you are building an extreme gaming rig with a top of the line multiple video cards set up with lots of other hardware select the power supply that's 1000 watts or greater. Second, it should be at or above 80% efficient at typical load and this will not be a problem for this power supply because its efficiency is up to 94% which is completely astounding and will definitely help reduce your electric bill. Third, it should meet the latest ATX and other current standards, environmental directives, over voltage, under voltage and other protections. This power supply meets all current standards. Fourth, I'd recommend choosing a power supply that has APFC, APSC or active power factor correction assist the power supply in being more efficient and therefore stable under load. APFC basically reduces total harmonics, corrects input voltage, and it allows for full input voltage range. Now thankfully this power supply has APFC. Fifth, there are three main certifications, AD Plus, NVIDIA SLI, and ATI Crossfire. Many of today's high-end power supplies meet one or more of these certifications. This power supply is AD Plus Platinum and ERP Lot 6 2013 certified and meets the NVIDIA SLI and ATI Crossfire certification as well 
it's server ready. Sixth, look for a power supply that uses Japanese capacitors. This ensures a much more reliable product than a power supply with low grade capacitors. This power supply uses heavy duty Japanese brand capacitors. Finally, get a power supply that has enough leads for your setup. Also consider a power supply that has a modular design because it reduces the cable mess inside of the case. It's also important to get a power supply with an excellent warranty. And this one comes with a brilliant warranty. This power supply comes with the Antec Quality 7 Year Warranty and Lifetime Global 24 7 support. It comes with a black paint finish and the housing is steel. They include a quiet 135 millimeter dual ball bearing fan with a recessed fan grill. I should also note that it has an advanced low voltage fan control for optimum heat and noise management. So this fan and the many ventilation holes ensures that the inside of the power supply will remain cool in almost any environment. Here's the power cable connection and the power switch. This power supply has lots of sleeved leads and they are all modular. This is a 100% modular power supply and you do not see this very often. A lot of companies will say their power supplies are modular, but usually there are a few leads hardwired into the power supply and the rest are modular. Not in this case, this is a 100% modular power supply. And modular leads are fantastic because you only need to use the ones required for your particular setup. This reduces the cable mess inside of the case and it increases airflow inside of the case. Finally, have a listen to the 135 millimeter fan. You're going to be hard pressed to find a power supply anywhere that is as good as this one. Of course, since it is so good, it's going to cost a fair amount of money. However, if you're looking for a super high quality, high efficient power supply that is 100% modular, comes with a fantastic quiet fan and will pretty much power any of the extreme gaming rigs that are out there well this power supply might just be for you overall this is without a doubt a 100 percent kick-ass product until next time take care